of things happened last year. But nothing was as eventful as this. Hi. So yes, the rumors that no one has been spreading are true. I do in fact have a KFC reusable camera with the kernel in a party hat on it. And no, it does not take good pictures. But before we get into that, let's take a closer look at this camera. So first of all, I just want to say that this camera does not have a built-in flash. Uh, so your best bet is using something like this compact flash, or I guess you could use like a DSLR flash, but I wouldn't recommend it because, I mean, look at it. The other thing would be if you shoot like Portra 800 and then push it to like 1600 or 3200. I think I've made that joke before, but it's probably doable. Like I should probably actually do that in a video. Next is how to load the camera. So firstly you want to grab some film that you can insert inside the camera, then open the back of the camera. Next you want to make sure that the film winder is open and up at the top. Then insert your film upside down into the left of the camera. Make sure you give it a little shove. And then grab your film leader and move that over to the take up spool on the right. Make sure you just get it inside the little hole there. And give it a little push to make sure that it actually catches on and then start advancing the film winder. This way you can make sure that it's actually taking up your film before you close the back. And then next you just want to do maybe one or two, maybe three photos and just make sure that you're actually taking the photos instead of the start of the roll. And you should be good to go. And lastly, but certainly not least, are the celebration inserts. Here we have Party Party, we have the Love Umbrella, which will split your frame in two, and the one that I ended up going with, which was the Happy Friends frame. Uh, I went with this one because it just felt like it was a bit less intrusive than the other ones. Um, I figured I could actually sort of frame a picture in between the two the lines. Now these frames are little plastic inserts that actually go in between the film and the lens on the inside of the camera. Uh, I'll show you how to put those in now. And I know it sounds like a good idea, shoving a piece of plastic in front of your film and behind your lens, but let's see what happens when you do that. Overall from these photos, I think without the filter, I think the photos will just kind of look pretty standard like a reusable camera. Uh, and I do definitely think that they kind of look better in black and white. So I'll probably, if I do end up shooting this camera again, I'll definitely try shooting it with some black and white. Cause just converting these ones to black and white, it definitely covers up a lot of the crazy textures and color casts and all that kind of stuff that you get from, from shooting color in it. Now the images are a solid 2 out of 10, but they definitely have character. I'm pretty sure that the filter itself moved in the middle of while I was shooting, and so that's why there's sort of the blue 
streak that's running across the top of the frame because I'm pretty sure I was just scratching the film as it advanced. And the other thing is there's a lot of black hair and crap. And so the way that works is generally I'm sure if you've scanned the film yourself or if you've gotten scans back from someone who's not like a lab, hopefully you're not getting this back from a lab. If you have hair and things like that that are white on your film, generally that's because they've been converted from negative to positive, so they go from black to white. But in this case I have a lot of black hair on my pictures and that's because it was the hair that was actually imprinted onto the photo because I didn't clean the filter. The second thing is that I do just want to mention, it's probably obvious, but this was most likely given away as like a free uh, promotional item with KFC in Japan. So again, the build quality is very plastic and you can hear it if you squeeze it. Sorry, Colonel. It kind of sounds like a frog, actually. Has anyone else tried to squeeze the kernel? It kind of sounds like a, like a Japanese game show or something. Yeah, this is getting weird. Anyway, I just wanted to say that it is quite plastic and when I put the big sort of DSLR flash on it, it did actually start to not bend, but was a, a bit more creaky than I would want it to be. But overall, I had a great time shooting with this camera. I feel like it's another one like the Fanta camera where you can pretty much photograph anyone, even if they're kind of camera shy, because it's a lot less threatening than shooting like a DSLR or something like that. And honestly, I haven't really tried shooting one of these joke cameras uh, on the street. So maybe I should try doing that and see what kind of reactions I can get. So I figure I should also mention how I got the camera because I think that's probably going to be what most of the comments are going to be about. So I got mine from a local lab called Ikigai Camera. I've probably mentioned them before. But they only got a few in for sale and they got snapped up pretty quick so I'm happy that I got mine but unfortunately I don't really have a plug or anything that I can give you guys on where to get them. Um, I can say obviously maybe eBay or like Marketplace or any of those kinds of places but like really I feel like they're just kind of hard to, to find and even if you did find them they're probably going to be massively overpriced for what they are. So thank you for watching and if you want to see more of my work you can go to my Instagram which is michael.netty and you can go to my website which is migmedia.com and I hope to see you again soon. I like to shave this shit off. It wasn't even that funny. Like I was trying to do it as like a throwback to my older videos and I was gonna do like a little joke about me make like me having the mustache but I didn't even write it like I didn't even put it in the video. I also went on a walk yesterday and everyone was looking at me in the most pitiful way. I had one middle-aged woman who just laughed and thought at least I made her day brighter. And then I had a few dudes walk past who had better mustaches who just sort of chuckled to themselves as if what a garbage mustache he has. And it's not like I'm gonna stop them and say, yeah, I was doing it for a joke for this YouTube video, you know? Not that it really matters, because like, I have no idea what they even look like, I don't remember what they look like, but... Just like, let a man wear a shit mustache, without making him feel self-conscious, you know? I know if I didn't wear a shit mustache, I wouldn't feel self-conscious. But it just seemed like the kind of thing that people could just ignore for a little bit, you know? Maybe you don't know. Maybe you don't have a shit mustache. I hope you don't have a shit mustache. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed whatever next video you're going to watch. So, bye.